Okay, we're talking about uh, some different fire tools today. Uh, this particular tool is called a uh, McLeod fire rake. Uh, used primarily to create some fire breaks at using your just as a hand tool uh, without big machinery and equipment. Um, it's used a lot out west, especially uh, just creating small fire breaks. You can uh, rake with it, or you can scrape with it, and then also if you're working with fire itself, you can snuff the fire out just by setting it on top of the fire. It's probably not used so much in the Central Great Plains as much as it would be out west uh, as a fire brake preparation tool. Um, next piece of equipment is just a standard shovel. Um, these are probably more commonly used uh, in the southeastern part of the U.S. Uh, where they've got deeper soils uh, where you can actually dig down and, and prepare your fire breaks. In the Central Great Plains probably its biggest use would be just gathering up some dirt if you've got any uh, so that you can snuff the fire out just by covering it up. And it's a lot harder to do that just because in a lot of parts of the Central Plains uh, we're dealing with hard clay type or rocky soils and there's not a lot of loose dirt around. The next piece of equipment would be a fire rake which sort of looks like just a, a sickle bar on a stick which is kind of what it is but it's used also to prepare fire breaks by hand um, the teeth are typically sharp enough that you can cut small brush uh, to clear that out of the way. Works really well pulling stuff back into a fire if you need to so that you can get the fuel away from what's burning so that you can try to put the fire out. Okay, the next piece of equipment is what's called a fire broom. Um, these are mainly used along your, your initial fire line where you just kind of sweep the loose materials back into the blackened area so that you don't have the fire trying to creep backwards across your fire break. Probably works really well in your leaf litter type burns. Uh, a lot of times on grassland type burns you've got enough fats down on the ground it's hard to get it all swept back. So it's not a real uh, heavily used tool in the central plains but it it's, can be beneficial occasionally. And then this is Next piece is a, a true fire leaf rake, and this would be more beneficial in the, in the timber type burns where you've got a lot of leaf litter that you need to either scrape away before the fire gets there to prepare a break, or uh, you can go along your uh, black line and, and scrape uh, the loose materials back in onto the black so that they'll quit burning. Another piece of equipment here is basically just a common garden rake. And here again, you can lose it, use it just like your fire rake or your McLeod. Uh, try to prepare some bare area, uh, small fire breaks. Uh, get fuel pulled back away or pushed into the burned. Um, and then also, I've used them where if you're trying to go really super slow with your burn, you can just grab up a rake full of fuel and then just kind of daub it along. And that way you don't necessarily have to use drip torch fuel and things like that. And then lastly, but not least, is what's called a uh, fire swatter or a fire flapper. And uh, in, in my mind, it's, uh, it's a piece of equipment that is misnamed because typically if you're going to flap or swat that fire, you're probably going to spread it. So typically, it's, I would prefer to call it a fire mop because what you're trying to do is just snuff out your fire by mopping it around and covering it fire over and smothering it from the oxygen. The question might be if uh, you held this over a fire too long would it melt? And uh, typically uh, if it's a super hot fire and you just left it there on top of some embers for a long time yeah it probably could melt. Most situations it's not going to because it's it, it don't ignite very easily.